begin what's trending by joining former President Muhammad Buhari and President Bola Ahmed Tinubu in wishing Muslims in Nigeria and across the globe a happy Eid El Adha. Buhari, in his Eid message signed by his spokesperson Garba Shehu, said leading a country like Nigeria is one of the hardest challenges in life which demands the sacrifice and the support of citizens. The former president further urged Nigerians to fully support the administration of Bola Ahmed Tinubu in order for him to succeed. Tinubu, in his Eid message, assured Nigerians that he is working day and night to prefer solutions to the country's challenges, further stating that the decisions taken so far by his administration will reform the economy and remove all the impediments to growth. He also urged Muslims to remember the less privileged while celebrating the Eid festival. Well, the president arrived the country on Tuesday after his first official trip abroad. His plane touched down at the Maltala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos around 5.10 p.m. He was received by the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Songwolu, Femi Baji Abiyamila, Chief of Staff to the President, Kayode Egbetokun, the acting inspector general of police, Anuhu Ribadu, the country's national security advisor, among others. Upon his arrival, the 81 Division of the Nigerian Army, as well as personnel from the Nigerian Navy and Nigerian Air Force, mounted a guard of honor for him, while the standing troop of the Lagos State Council of Arts and Culture provided entertainment. <laughs> Well, Tinubu left the airport and headed to his residence at Bordelon Ikoi in a large convoy with the Lagos State Governor, while a video of the convoy elicited several reactions on social media. Let's take a look before we take some reactions. <laughs> Gabanu. Well, all right, let's take some reactions. This is from a sports doctor who wrote, even Joe Biden of the United States doesn't move around with over 100 vehicles in his convoy. But let's keep hailing Jagaban, poverty capital of the world, spending like they own the world while their citizens suffer untold hardship. Well, Oluwa wrote, the president's convoy isn't this long. Why this convoy is that long and heavy is because of the number of dignitaries escorting the president on his home visiting as a president. Well, governors, speakers, reps, members, senators, service chiefs, ETC. That's why the convoy is this long. Well, Niger Delta Road. Ribadu left his office in Abuja with entourage and taxpayers fun to fly to Lagos to meet a man whose office is in Abuja. These are the people telling you to bear 500 naira per liter of fuel and 40% increase in electricity. Well, Dr. Bati, over to you because, I mean, I know that you have been around the president and presidents. I mean, I would like another opinion uh, besides the <coughs> opinions of some of the Twitter well, I, analysts. I, I always use that well, I think because of yeah. the hardship in the country. Absolutely. People are very sensitive mm -hmm. about anything that appears a bit conspicuous. Yes. And uh, this is not the first time that Nigerians will talk about convoy 
Uh, we often complain when there is VIP movement, whether it's the president or anybody else, because the airspace will have to be shut down. Uh, traffic will have to be uh, blocked in certain parts. So people are always very sensitive when they see convoy, particularly when it is uh, the convoy of the president. However, this has to be put in context. And I think it's that Olua Shola uh, that got put, that put his or her finger on it. When, you know, uh, the person wrote that, look, this is not just only the president's convoy. Yeah. The, no Nigerian president goes about with 120 cars, as some people are claiming. I don't know who counted the vehicles one by one anyway, because I've seen some people say, oh, 120 vehicles. Yeah, this was a two minute long video. Yeah, so but it's not, it's not possible. You will stay by the roadside and you will be counting the number of vehicles in the convoy. But what Oluwashola was telling us is that, look, there are so many other dignities involved. The governor of Lagos State will have his own convoy that will follow behind. You, uh, the Inspector General of Police was also mentioned as one of the persons there. The National Security Advisor was also mentioned. Other service chiefs were there. And there are also smaller big men. You know, because I saw some of them, some of them... Smaller would big men. I, I, I would love some clarification on smaller that. Big smaller big men. Big men. Yeah. Oh. I saw some smaller oh, big men. Big, <laughs> big men levels. Big men get levels. The speaker of the uh, Lagos State House of Assembly, I cited him. So, so people like that, smaller big men. All these, all these dignitaries. They will oh, follow the president uh, back to uh, his residence as he arrived. And don't forget, this will be President Tinumbu's first yeah. visit to uh, uh, Lagos since he went to Abuja to assume office as president of Nigeria. So for his supporters, you know, it was a special meaning. They say, oh, city boy is coming back home to do Salah. And then it's the festive season uh, also. Uh, when next he visits Lagos, uh, you may now have that kind of crowd. Yes. I do know when I saw the cover, I do not think it's the president's cover that will yeah, be that absolutely. long. We have to state the facts. Yeah. But the optics looks bad. And I'll tell you in two regards. Number one, so that's how much our government officials move around with government funds. I saw many SUVs there. And I was just calculating 45, 45,000 naira to fill the tank of those SUVs. Mm -hmm. And you know how much we have to go out of government, but that Tax is too money. much. Taxpayers' Tax money. Taxpayers' money. Secondly, OG, on top of that, there are no Nigerian-made cars in all of those convoys. Oh, that's a good point. So how do we grow our economy when we don't have a lot of Nigerian-made cars in all those convoys? We are making cars in Nigeria. No, sir. Yeah. Would you see the president of France drive another car, car from his, uh, another country on his convoy? Will you see the president of Russia do the same? And these are part of the things we are saying. These guys should cut down on their costs. You see, because when poor men like us look, what we see is affluence. Yes. And just like you're rubbing it on our face. Mm. And secondly, that uh, military, what is it called? Parade. It's one, um, I thought it was too much. I, 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 uh, I had to ask. He's been sworn in, Dr. Abati. They've that. done parade for him on swearing in. They, they, they he, can't do this on him. If he comes to Lagos after swearing in, he should move home like other citizens. They should stop all these parades. It's too much. What is all of this? Let's call a spade a spade. We are, things are hard. I keep saying, the sons of Issaka understood the times. Our politicians, they don't understand the times. Optics. Do you know what people will look at and say? Absolutely. So there was no need for all of that. Yeah, you can match a small government, but there was no need for all of that parade. To just come back, go home, and be thinking about this nation. And do for a lot of people. I also hear that, uh, because it's our neighbor, Mr. President, I also hear they've declared in body law. You know that the uh, declaration goes there every year. Implications, okay, people are getting declared in body law. What does that mean? There's a new uh, residence in body law. No, Is that what you're talking about? What does it, it mean? Please. When they say declare, yes, it means that uh, there's a RSVP. You know what RSVP means? I know what RSVP means when you have an invitation on a card. <laughs> oh, you know that. Oh, I, please help RSVP <laughs> means rice and stew very plain. <laughs> That's what we are saying. But I drove so, around Body Lawn today. I saw the uh, Shiwaju residence again. A lot of people out there. And that's the declaration know, I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I say. I hear it has declared for people. It's good as it's reaching out to the poor. Okay. But we need to do more yes. for the poor. So we have acknowledged this declaration. A lot of people have gone there. They've gone to do RSVP. Our rice and stew very plenty. Okay. But we should do more <laughs> for the poor. And oh. all of this shows. I tried to scream.